haven't put my chapstick on. I'm going to them. Just got home, just finished all my errands. I went to the dispensary. I, w I actually did come home already, but then I went back out because I was like, oh shit. I decided instead of just trying to get it tailored, I just got a smaller size because I got time for that. <laughs> Who the fuck got time for that? It's definitely not me. So, um, yeah, that's really that. I ordered the new clothes and I changed the jeans now. So, okay, I don't even, <sighs> sorry you guys, I just won't. So I didn't even tell you guys what the fuck I'm talking about. So I have an outfit that I already bought for the Nicki Minaj concert that's like two months away. What the fuck? Why did I say that? I had to return the top because the top was too big. So I had to, I was going to get it tailored, but I chose just to return it and just buy another smaller size. So inside of, instead of a size 24, which is my pant size, and that's just how they go by their size. They go by pant size on Boo. So I got a 16 because my top is like a lot smaller than my pant size, like my back size. I have a little, I have a big fupa, you know? So I wear size 24 and I like, it, was, it wasn't processing like, girl, your tops are not a size 24. So that shit is huge on me. So I was like, let me try size 16. I have time. So if it doesn't work out, then I know I could just order another one. And maybe I'll get, instead of um, a 16, maybe like a 20 or yeah, I think 20. If 16 doesn't work, then it's definitely 20. 18 or 20. One or the other. But yeah, you guys. Um, I said all that to say... Yes. I'm almost prepared for Nicki Minaj. I changed the pants from blue jeans to black jeans. Because I want to try to find me high, like, platform boots to wear. And I want them to be black. So black on black pants and then a pink fluffy top. Y'all see, cause I really want to do, that's my son. This is what he does. I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> so yeah, I changed it from blue jeans to black jeans. Um, I feel like black jeans will look better with the, with the, I, I hopefully I, I find them by the time I have two months to find wide extra wide calf extended size calf size um extra wide knee high I want over the knee but I'll settle for knee high knee high platform with a little you know I'm a little shorty but I need a platform heel not just like a heel a platform heel so I'm not uncomfortable all fucking night so yeah, that's the plan. It is going how I want it to so far. Everything's kind of working out the way it's supposed to. Just the top, but they have mad sizes, so I know if it's the only thing that sucks with Boohoo though, you have to pay six dollars for the return. So like, I really hope that this six scene is like the perfect fit. I'm praying it out. So I don't know. That's just that. And then I went to the dispensary. They're doing like a sale for the whole month. Like $20 for eight. So after tax, it's $24. So yeah, I had to go pick up. And then I came home. And then I had to go back out again because I forgot to buy Fanta. So yeah, now I'm just back now. I'm just chilling. My son is just babbling over there, making noise. My daughter's watching TV. And yeah, that's just the life. Tune in later, guys. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you fucking want your bitch. Okay. I'm out. Okay, so hi guys, I did just make a video, but you know what, I thought I would continue the vlog, because why not, like I'm showing you all my life. So right now, what I'm doing is doing 
twist outs in my hair. Nightly routine, you know. Any natural girlies, you know. If you don't do this, you'll wake up to a big disaster. This is all about consistency. So yeah, we're trying to be consistent so we can retain that length that we would like, okay? Um, so yeah, this is not even my every nightly routine. Just when I go out, <laughs> when I take my hair out of my bonnet, um, I do this. So my hair can be in twist and then I do this every night I, well, not every night but whenever I take my hair out the day the day of I make sure I put my hair into twist every single night so I don't have no issues the next time I need to take my hair out so I just kind of do 10 10 really standard I guess twists um, so yeah, I'll do some, a couple real quick on the camera, and then I'll show you guys what I'm done. What do you think? So, the number one key of our hair, like, I don't know why black people are so scared of water, but our hair loves that shit. Like, y'all stock up on moisturizing, uh, risers and all that shit. They all have water in them and like other ingredients that are good for our hair. But the base product is water. So, always have your fucking spray bottle. Put a little bit of conditioner in it. Our hair loves conditioner. Eats that shit right up. Put it in a motherfucking water bottle. Do not touch your hair unless it's wet with the conditioner do not try to detangle your hair without it you are causing damage so it took me a lot you guys a lot of trial and error to finally get it right but do you see you can tell that now we're starting to get where we need to be right you see how thick it is right here so yeah i know what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so i'm gonna continue doing this i'll do one more section on camera and then i will come back when we are done with these you don't really want to do two big sections i mean you want big like a decent size section so i'm combing the this quarter of my hair I'm gonna separate it into three um, three twists and y'all will see when I'm done I'll do this one on camera and then I'll show you guys when I'm done with my forehead okay so you see guys I'm just separating it with my fingers really not combing it at all, not detangling it. Water and conditioner. Spray the roots. I like to massage it in. Make sure it's damp. You don't want it too, too wet. Just like damp enough where it looks like it's penetrated through your hair like so see it's not like dripping it's just a little damp that's all you want even on my twist out butter that I have it says damp oh I forgot to show you guys the twist out butter Camila Rose Camila Rose, okay guys. Almond J. Twisting butter. The true. This is the best one that I've used yet. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I like this one. This is the best one that I used so far. Before I was using the olive oil one. It wasn't infused with castor oil and all that shit. It was good, but it wasn't. My hair did not 
like come out of my twist the way that I wanted it to. So then I tried this and I've been in love ever since. Um, so yeah, just put a little bit. If you don't feel like that's enough, which I don't, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Literally just that much. You don't need too much because the water already does your hair so much justice. So just put a little bit and you'll know when it's enough, okay? So earlier this week on Tuesday, guys, I did Josiah's friend's hair. I should have took a video so I could show you. Um, this is the second one of his little friends that I did their dreads. Hopefully they keep it. He really likes it. He got them done by somebody else's mom before and he didn't like them so he took them out. So he trusted me to do them. And it took forever because that's why I don't like doing people's hair because I'm like a perfectionist. Especially not only with myself, but like especially on other people. Like if I'm doing your hair, cause I'm not a hairdresser, you know what I mean? I need it to be perfect. So we was like literally doing his hair for four hours. It was a long time. <laughs> it was a long time. I told him sorry, I didn't charge him because I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not gonna charge you and you're my son's friend. So I just didn't, I wasn't gonna charge him. Like, no, I wasn't, I was not going to do that. So, yeah, he still has them in. He likes them. He told me thank you. He loves them. And, yeah, that's really that. Nothing special. But, yeah. Okay, guys, so I finished that twist out. The camera, my, the lighting in my bathroom sucks, so I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah, so I'm going to finish doing this. And then when I'm done, I'll tune back in so y'all can see the end result. Alright, so hey y'all, I finished my twist out. Let me wipe my camera to see if y'all can see me a little bit better. It's much better. I should have that earlier. <laughs> when I was actually doing my hair so you could see, see better. But you see, just 10 twists. That's all. Nothing special. That's it, guys. I'm on the toilet now. I'm on the toilet. I'm on the toilet. I'm not ashamed to tell y'all. We all do it. It's been real. Had a fun day with fun. I had a fun, I guess, kind of productive day with y'all. Okay, so hey, guys. I have to delete some shit off my phone just so I can finish and close out this video. I forgot what I was saying in the previous video, but like I said, I finished my hair. I'm done with my twist out. Now I'm about to smoke my blunt. I'm done on the toilet. And I hope you all have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. It's your bitch. Love you. We're going to get our shit together. Okay, so hey, guys. I'm back. It's me, your bitch. I don't know if this is a brand new video or whatever. But it's your bitch, and I'm back. So, you guys, I have something to say. I'm really excited about I be sick when I'm excited. Actually, I think I just sing, like I talk sing in general. My voice, I kind of like sing at the end. That's a thing that I do. I don't know why I do that, but I do that. So here we go. Um, you guys, I just want to tell you. I, I cannot help that. I don't know why I do that shit. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, the outfit is complete. Well, it's not like fully complete yet. We're almost there. Now I'm down to like literally just accessories. Okay, so. I found the boots that I was telling you guys that I need. I found them on Fashion to Fucking Figure. And I don't know like why I didn't think of Fashion to Figure before because I did used to shop there a lot when it was at the Square One Mall. Like that was 
my go-to store. Everyone, everyone knows. If you're a friend of mine around that time, Fashion and Figure, you know I was fucking in there. Like, every event, Fashion and Figure, whatever. So, actually, I just went on Google and I um, just, like, typed in the type of shoe that Fashion and Figure showed up. So, I was like, oh, let me go there. And then I went there, saw the shoe, and I was like, maybe this can do it. The only thing that has me a little nervous is it is a heel, but it, it but it is a platform heel. So we're gonna test them out. I still have time because we're only in February. The concert is in April. We're getting closer. We're two months away. We're getting closer, but we're still we still got time. So now, literally, the only thing that I'm worried about right now is hair. So, I, but I think I'm gonna, on my hair, I'm already working on that. I'm trying to get some raw bundles. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna do a bust down. I'm probably gonna do a middle part because it's gonna be straight hair. Bust down, middle part, bust down, hello. I kind of want to dye it all jet black, but then I'm like, hmm, I don't fucking know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I love when the hair's all black, but I don't really care about the natural either. The natural also looks pretty when it's straight. So. I don't know. Just, yeah. So I'm already working on the hair. But um, what I will say is, I'm so fucking nervous about trying to get an appointment. It's giving me fucking anxiety. Because if you live in Boston, you fucking know <laughs> how hard it is to get a hair appointment. Like, people literally have to stalk the hairstylist that they would like to go to. Instagram to see when they announce when they're the month of the month that they that you want your hair of you have to look um, on their Instagram a month before to see what day they're gonna release their appointments you kind of just have to be on your toes to try to get an appointment so I have a few girls that I've been looking at there's this one girl that I really want because she does lashes and hair so i like she's like my main one because i want to do my lashes i just want to worry about doing my makeup like you know what i mean the fake lashes please give me like if that could take me time or whatever and i just have to worry about my makeup please you know and it will be done both at the same time so that is the goal she's the goal she's the goal i hope i hope that she can get me in or uh, I hope I can get an appointment. I have to figure out how it works with her because it's a little bit confusing. I just have one person to do both things and like if it's a good experience, I'll continue to go to her, you know what I mean? But if it's a bad experience, then whatever, I tried her. It is what it is, move on. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know, hopefully everything works out the way it's supposed to. I feel like it is because everything's working out for me so far especially because I did everything early. <laughs> so I was able to return the stuff that didn't fit from Boohoo. Like I said, I changed the jeans now from blue to black, which is perfect because my boots are black. So it'll just be like black and pink. But yeah, next is what I need is a belt. I want a, like a designer belt. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm a big girl. Like, I'm a, I'm a big girl. I'm a woman, okay? Uh, so that's gonna be the goal. So stay tuned. Everything's coming together. I'm just so happy. So, yeah, you guys. <laughs> why, why? I'm so happy to go see Nicki Minaj. Y'all don't understand. Like, y'all want me to hate Nicki Minaj so bad, but I could never. It's my bitch. Okay? So, yeah, we're almost there. Nicki, I'll see you soon. I see you soon. I see you soon. I see you soon. I see you soon. Okay, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm out. See you in the next video. Bye.